Wardens, we are betrayed by the very world we have sworn to protect. The Inquisition is inside, Clarel. We have no time to stand on ceremony. These men and women are giving their lives, Magister. That might mean little in Tavinta, but for the Wardens, it is a sacred duty. Are you ready, Jaina? I came to save people from the Blight! And so you shall, child. We must complete the ritual! So... Clarell! If you complete that ritual, you're doing exactly what Eremond wants! What? Fighting the Blight? Keeping the world safe from Darkspawn? Who wouldn't want that? And yes, the ritual requires blood sacrifice! Hate me for that if you must, but do not hate the Wardens for doing their duty! We make the sacrifices no one else will. Our warriors die proudly for a world that will never thank them. And then your Tevinter ally binds the mages to Corypheus! Corypheus? But he's dead. These people will say anything to shake your confidence, Clarell. Make the right decision here. Bring it through! Please! I have seen more than my share of blood magic. It is never worth the cost. I trained half of you myself! Do not make me kill you to stop this madness! Be ready with the ritual, Clarell. This demon is truly worthy of your strength. What's f Oh, uh... Some wardens may see reason. Innocent wardens may be spared. Some wardens may see reason. Oh, man. Blackwall, come Blackwall, on. Can you talk some sense into them? You don't know me, but you may have heard my name. Like you, I've given my life to the Grey Wardens. The first time I put on this armor, I felt like I belonged. Like I was part of something honorable, something with a purpose. I know how good that feels, how safe. But fighting and dying here today won't stop the blight. If you want to stop the Blight, kill that bastard up there! His master is the living embodiment of its corruption! Listen. Come on, Clarell. Clarell. we have come so far! You're the only one who can do this! Don't listen to him. Perhaps we could test the truth of these charges to avoid more bloodshed. Perhaps I should bring in a more reliable ally. My master thought you might come here, Inquisitor. He sent me this to welcome you. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Thank you. She made the right decision. Clarell. It's like a mis 
mosquito bite to that thing. This way. I don't think we can target him even. We got more. Keep moving. Whoa! We can target him. Take this thing down, but I don't know that we can. At least she's seeing reason. You did that to yourself, you stupid bitch. All I did 
dangle a little power before your eyes, and you couldn't wait to get your hands bloody. I think we know where we are. We were falling. Is this... Are we dead? No. The Inquisitor used the mark to open another rift. We fell through. I believe... We're in the Fade. The Fade looked much different the last time I was here. The first time I entered the Fade, it looked like a lovely castle filled with gold and silks. I met a marvelous desire demon, as I recall. We chatted and ate grapes before he <laughs> attempted to possess me. Of course. Perhaps the difference is that we are here physically. This is no one's dream. The stories say you walked out of the Fade at Haven. Was it like this? I don't remember. I don't know. I still can't remember what happened the last time I did this. Well, whatever happened at Haven, we can't assume we're safe now. That huge demon was right on the other side of that rift Eremond was using. And there could be others. In our world, the rift the demons came through was nearby. In the main hall. Can we escape the same way? It's worth a try for sure. Let's find out. There, let's go. Is this really what it's like when you dream? How do you people ever sleep? Remember last time we ended up in the Fade, Hawk? I remember the lot of you being tempted by demons. Well, we got better. Sort of. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, we've got things down here too, of course. of Viridian. Oh, okay. Tons of iron. Fears of the Dreamers. The Pilgrim. 
I came to the Temple of Sacred Ashes with the faithful, ready to help at the Conclave. I prayed to the Maker for peace, but the mountains shook and fell and buried me. Alone in the darkness, my legs crushed. I cried in fear of a world with no Maker, fading in and out of dreams of monsters inside the black. Light my final hours, let me go to the Maker without the terrors of darkness confounding me. We'll need to look around. Yeah, we will. Okay. That's pretty wild. Let's do this. A plea from the warriors to the spirits. The wolves were our allies in the old days before Andraste, before the Maker, we knew this to be so. But man grew tired of the chase, the hunt, the truth of fang and steel and blood. Man put seeds in the ground, tended cattle and chickens, and built fences to keep the wolves away. Man bred hounds that would heal and sit and obey, and told himself that the hounds were just as good. Now the dark spawn come again. They break our fences, kill our cattle and chickens, burn our crops. Our dogs cower with tails between their legs, or if they fight, they fall to the poison of darkspawn blood. We are dying, and I am shamed by my cowardice. The ways of man and hound are not enough. I come to you, spirits of the old forest, I who built fences, I who came with fire and steel to drive you away. I come to you because fear has made my arms weak. I ask you for unforgiving rage to make them strong again. Kill the hound in my heart, and grow strong from the meat on its bones. In its place, give me the wolf. Words caught the bloody ripples of ancient water in the fade, somehow remembered. Like, look at this. Hastily written note. Letter by a burning candle, make her give me strength. When the darkspawn came to Denerim, I wept so hard I could not see, but still I fought for you. When demons poured from the sky where the Temple of Sacred Ashes used to stand, my hands shook so badly that I could not aim my bow, but still I fought for you. When Corypheus and his archdemon destroyed Haven and killed my friends, I screamed until I had no voice, but still I fought for you. They're sending me to attack Adamant. They say that the fortress is defended by an army of demons, and the odds are grim. We cannot win, but our distraction, our sacrifice, may give the important people the chance to do what is necessary. My stomach is knotted, and I see dead friends from old battles reaching out for me every time I close my eyes. I am so afraid, Maker, but still, I will fight for you. Writer unknown. I would love to have Cole here right now. I feel like he would be shedding a ton of light on this stuff. Like, with all these dreamers and their fears and stuff, like, Cole would be magical for this. Walk in the Fade, frozen moments. I once studied the Fade as a scholar, dissecting it, as a child might a rat or a frog. I was young and craved the power conquering the Fade could bring. I tried in vain to chart its paths, and when that failed, I attempted to secure them. In my arrogance, I struggled against the Fade's very nature. How does one pin down a dream? How does one control a thought so that it might travel always the same course from conception to completion? Only when I let go of my desires and humbled myself was the fade open to me. The spirits came and took it upon themselves to be my guides, my lanterns in the darkness. At their command, the paths grew still, and I could walk them again and again. 
I was shown vast oceans containing not water, but memories drawn from the mind of dreamers. I drifted through frozen moments like paintings, perfect in each detail. As I explored this impossible realm, the spirits kept darker things at bay. I came to trust them, even love them, and I saw my own love reflected in them. To know the Fade, one cannot seek to master it. The Fade is the master, the teacher. We are merely apprentices. Magister Callistus of Terivian. Known to some as Callistus the Fade Touched. What the hell this is this thing? Is Magic plus one. All right. Wild. Really? Is that who I think By it is? Maker. Could that be? I greet you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinia. Yep, yep. I don't understand. Back at Haven, I saw... I thought I saw... How can you be here? She's not. I fear we face a spirit. Or a demon. Or it's just a you manifestation of our thoughts. impossible. Yet, here you stand alive, in the Fade, yourselves. In truth, Proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Surely you can understand our concerns, and explain what you are. I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. That's right. No, I don't. The memories you have lost were taken by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrified the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. I would gladly avenge the insult this nightmare dealt, my brethren. You will have your chance, brave Warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. His power may come from the Blight itself, but the Nightmare serves willingly, for Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the Magisters who unleashed the first Blight upon the world, was he not? Every child's cry as the archdemon circles. Every dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The nightmare has fed well. Yeah, I would say so. Is there... Do you know how we can leave here? Can you help us get out of the Fade? That is why I found you. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you what? do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor. Oh, what? Kill the demons and recover memories. Why are you doing this? You, of all people! 
people. Mind blown. So, your mark did not come from Andraste. No, it didn't. It came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. What? Well, we know it wasn't a holy thing. I never thought Andraste did this. I did this myself, through my actions. No maker required. And now you may be certain. You cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. Something troubles you, Hawk. Those were Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their yep. actions led to her death. I assumed he had taken their minds, as you have seen him do before. Come, we can argue after we escape this dark place. Oh, I intend to.